the thing that I think has caused the controversy is that the CDC said that at that point you don't need to do an antigen test, and people question why. And the reason is that if you look at the risk of transmitting infection from a person who is infected during the first five days of that period versus the second five days, most of the risk is segregated in those first five days. And so the risk is very, very low of transmitting as you get into day six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. And the tests that are used, the antigen test, don't really have a good predictive value as to whether or not you're transmitting. They have a good value early on to say if you're infected. But a saying five, six, seven, eight, nine days later, whether it's positive or negative, it's not a good because we don't know any studies at all that have shown. And in fact, the original FDA approval of the test was not for the purpose of determining if multiple days following infection that you are able to transmit. And for that reason, the CD said, said it was not necessary to have a test because the risk is low. So that's the explanation for that policy. I want to ask about being contagious and transmissibility for a moment. You explained that the reason we do not need to test a requirement after a positive person isolates for five days is because uh, the science says the odds of being contagious after those five days are low. Dr. Walensky has given a few additional reasons. She said a couple times today that a PCR test could give someone who had a COVID uh, positive result for up to 12 weeks. So is a PCR test not a good barometer either for transmissibility and isolation length? I mean, how can people actually tell if they are contagious in the cycle of having COVID? How do you measure that if not with either a PCR test or an antigen test? Yeah, that is a very good question because PCR doesn't measure replication competent virus. It measures viral particles, nucleic acid. So in other words, I could be infected, have cleared the replication competent virus from me, but I can continue to be positive with a PCR for several days after recovering and not being transmissible at all. So although a PCR is good to tell you, if you have been, am I infected? Yes, I am infected. But the very fact that it's positive for, as the CDC director said, for several days and even weeks later, it doesn't give you any indication of whether or not you're transmissible. And I think that's the, the understandable confusion that people have about testing. Testing saying whether you're infected or not versus are you infected plus transmissible. The only way you could tell if it's transmissible, if you can show that there really is live replication virus in you, and the tests don't measure that. They measure the presence or absence of not of the virus, Right. And the virus could be dead, inactive virus that doesn't transmit. So it's entirely understandable why people can get confused over that. And that's the reason why I'm here yeah. trying to explain it to people to hopefully clarify yeah. that. <laughs>